Hey everyone, I'm back and this time I'm doing an unboxing um, and demonstration of this SanDisk iXBand flash drive. This is the 64 gig uh, version. They do uh, come in many different sizes, starting as low as 16 gigs and it goes up to uh, 256 gigs. Uh, this is the one in the middle, it's 64 gigs, um, which is, uh, it was on sale on Amazon so I, I picked it up uh, this weekend. So uh, the purpose of this device is to easily back up uh, stuff from your iDevices, like your iPhone or your iPad, uh, onto this uh, flash drive. So you can see it has a lightning connector right there. And on this end is a USB 3 connector so you can quickly uh, transfer those videos and pictures and all that stuff onto your Mac or your PC or your Windows machine. Uh, you can set it to automatically back up anytime you plug it in. Um, and you can also store MP4 and MOV uh, movie files on this and play it on your device itself. Uh, it also works with uh, many cases as you can see like the shape of this. Uh, so, I'm a, so this you can probably pick up and plug in and it'll still work even if you have a case. Um, so let's unbox it and give it a try. Might just have to tear this open. And I think I got this for like $39.99 or something like that on Amazon. There was a deal going on this weekend, but um, here it is. It's very light. It's, it's, it's small. And this comes out like this. It is pretty firm actually, but it does look like it would work with uh, most cases. And here's the bottom of it. Okay. Made in China. All right, so I'm gonna, I borrowed my daughter's iPhone for this uh, demonstration, so let's see here. Uh, let me unlock it. And let's plug it in and see what happens, if anything. All right, so it's asking me to get the app from the App Store. So there it is, it's the very first result. And let me just install this. And it should start downloading now. This stuff downloads uh, a lot quicker every time there's an Apple Keynote. In real life, it's never the same. So you must agree to the license agreement, okay. Set up my drive. Uh, I don't want automatic backup, so I'm just gonna skip. Okay. I don't know if this is an ad or if this is part of the SanDisk drive, but okay. You can cast with Chromecast. Now I can back up and store events and meetings. Okay, I got it. Save space on your iPhone. All photos and videos taken using this camera are saved directly to iXPand drive in camera folder. So as you can see, you can have it attached to your device and start filming um, or taking photographs and it'll go directly to this device itself, bypassing the, the phone itself. So that's a great feature. Okay, so my iPhone space. I've got 115 gigs free. I've used up 13 gigs and my USB drive has 64 gigs. So 60 of which 60 megs is used, okay, that's pretty good. So let me see, let me copy some files. So let me view, let me view files, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, copy files, let's try that. Okay, copy photos, copy files. So you can move files from the USB to the phone or from the phone to the USB. I'm gonna do copy photos. And I'm gonna do, I don't wanna select all, I'm gonna choose this one. This one and this one. Three files. Ah, here we go. Copy to iXPR drive. There it goes. I'm gonna move it to the video folder where it already has two. I'm gonna say copy here. Don't send me notifications. And there it goes. Wow, that was pretty fast. And that's it. So it just it gives you a little summary. It just copied three items 
and it asks if I want to delete it from my um, device. I love this uh, option. I'm going to say do not delete because this is not my phone, it's my kid's phone. And that's it. So let me see. Um, view files. I'm on iXpand, which is a USB, and now you see there's five items and the three video files that I picked up. So this is pretty neat. So now I can take this and just plug it into a computer or um, another device, another like iOS device, and move this file from here to there, which is pretty neat, right? Okay. So I think that's it. Let me unplug this. And I don't know what it's doing right here. Just make sure it's okay. Okay, great. So, as a, let me just plug in into her iPad. Also my daughter's iPad, so let me see. Okay, so again, it asks for the app. <coughs> Excuse me, let me get the app first. And I'm gonna try to move these files onto this uh, iPad and let's see if it works or not. This is a older iPad Air, the original iPad Air. It's a little slow compared to the iPhone 7 Plus we were using earlier. So hopefully it's done. Let me hit open. I'm gonna try to not get the glare. Chromecast. Okay, I want to do Greg 3, copy files, copy files from my drive, videos, and choose this one, this one, and this one. Copy to my iPad. The device will have three gigs free after this operation. Do you want to proceed? Yes. Yeah, so you can access my photos, do not send me notifications, and there it goes. Wow, just like that. Oh, it, it also copied this one, uh, the SanDisk file. I don't remember asking for that, but whatever. All right, and let's see. Okay, and here are those three files. It doesn't show a little preview though, but they are here. No. So, I could stream the video that the USB drive came with. There it is. But for some reason, I can't stream my own stuff. So I've weighed it and it doesn't work. All I see is this. It does not work. So if anybody knows anything about that, let me know. If I play their videos, it always works. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Um, so far, I'm, I'm pretty impressed uh, with this uh, uh, USB device. It's very small. You can record directly to it. It's easy to transfer files between iOS devices as long as you have the app installed. Um, 
easy to put away so you don't break the little tip there for the lightning uh, uh, adapter. And it is USB 3 so I can plug this into a computer and quickly transfer files. So for those of you that don't like to sync with uh, or use iTunes um, or Windows Explorer, uh, this is a good al alternative, especially if you're on vacation and you don't have a computer nearby. Um, it would be nice to have some of these to offload some of that storage, especially if you're in in like a, at a concert or at a sporting event or a birthday, anywhere you feel like you need some extra space but don't have time to offload anything from your device. So this is highly recommended. And again, I, I think I paid like $39.99 uh, for this device. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. Um, I got it on sale during the um, Black Friday um, event on Amazon. Um, if it wasn't $39.99, I'll, I'll be sure I'll, to list it in the description, but it was around there. Um, so far, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's very lightweight, it's very small, um, and it even has like a little thing here to attach a lanyard. So you can wear it around your neck or something like that. So. This is great. All right, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching. And if you're not a subscriber, I would hope you'd consider it. Thank you.